In this short tutorial, I will show you how to set up failover scenario in DSS 8. So what we need for that? We need at least three server. One master server, one slave server and one standby server, which is actually the same installation package as the master server and the slave server. We just change the role of this server. And of course we have a client with the DSS 8 over here, which will connect to master server and retrieve the data either from slave server or standby server. Okay, so let's start. We have one camera connected over here, 113, where we have also some playback, right? So we can see some images, what was happening before. As you can see, we have also the images from 130 till 2 and so on and so on. Now we go back to life, we go back to home and we switch to configuration part. Let's go to system deployment and over here we have a master server and two sub servers, two slave servers. What we need to do now, we need to configure one of those servers to take a part over here as a standby server. So we can change any of the sub server for this purpose. Go to settings. Now change to standby server and select all the servers. So you can select multiple servers to have N plus M solution over here. As you can see, you don't see the master server with the IP address of 1.7, only all the slave servers and click OK. The configuration is actually done. So in case server 1.3 is down, 106 will take his role. So let's now simulate this. There are two ways how to unplug the server or switch the roles. Even we switch the roles over here or we will simply unplug the other server from the network. So now we will simulate the real time scenario and the server 1.3 will be really down. So I will not doing this via software. Now we can see the server status has changed. If the master server don't see the slave server for more than one minute, it put it in the offline and automatically standby server is taking his role. So you can see the status over here is running. If we go to monitoring center and we go on the playback, we just see the recordings which are on the slave server. So we don't see the recording from 1.30 to 2 o'clock and so on. Only those new ones which are taking at the moment and they are recording on the slave server. So now we will plug back actually the sub server. For operator, this is really nice to work. While working in monitoring center, nothing is changing for the operator. Everything is as before. Now let's go back to system deployment and click refresh. Now the server 1.3 is already reconnected to the network. We can see that the sub server is already in idle mode. The recordings are still, or the server which is recording the cameras at the moment, it's still server 106. Just in case we would like to do some additional maintenance on the server, adding some storage or whatever. So we need to the manual switch back to sub server. How we can do this? You need to go over here on more button and click on switch. So we will switch back again the recordings to original server 1.3, which is in idle mode already. You can see now the idle server or the server which is in idle mode is a standby server and sub server, our slave server is already running and recording. If we go back to monitoring center and we go in the playback, we can see all our recordings again. All the time when the master or the slave server is disconnected from the master server, we will miss one minute in the recording. Because for one minute we are still waiting whether the server will not reconnect. Then after switching from the idle server back to the slave server, we can see also some small missing part of the video footage, which is around five seconds, no more. For the operator, he can see the recordings over here from slave server as well as from idle server, everything on the one timeline. So it's really convenient 
for the operator. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial about failover in DSS 8. Thank you.